All right, folks, so what we got here is a 2019 Ford Escape Titanium with a 2.0 with a turbo. Got to check engine light. Let's scan the code and see what it is. Oh, you did it already. Here you go. It's a PO496. So it's a EVAP high purge flow. Yep, that's the stored one. All right, so it's a PO496. I'm going to show you what that is. It is a purge valve. It's connected to the engine. When you buy the aftermarket one, it comes with a bunch of hoses. All right, so I'm going to show you what that is. Here we go. All right, folks. What we got here is a 2019 Ford Escape 2.0. It's a titanium model. What we're going to do here is change the um, vapor canister solenoid or purge solenoid is what they call it. All right, it has a code P0496. All right, this is what it looks like. We got it from AutoZone. This is the Dorman brand. There's also a Duralast brand. The difference is like $60, $70. All right, but this is the only one they have because it's on back order worldwide. All right. So that's the part number. What did I say? 994645. Comes a nice wrapper. This is what it looks like. Okay. Bolts on with two bolts over there. There is a pipe in the back. Comes around. Little Christmas tree here. This is the three-way three, three -way valve here. Two connections in the back of the engine. And two connections in the front of the engine. And I'm going to show you all those. It's a pain in the butt. The replacement, if you notice... It's just basically just two pinch pinch ends over here. Okay, you squeeze them and that's how you remove it. But the re the factory ones have clips. So I'm going to show you these clips. So these clips over here, I'll show you this one on here already. All right, it's got little tangs over here, left and a right. What basically you're going to do is you're going to bend them outwards. Okay, you're going to spread them out. Okay, like that. You're going to spread them out. So you get the little tang, that inside tang out from the lock. And then the clip comes out. Once the clip comes out, then there's a little white part in there that you have to press, which I'm going to show you here. Okay? The little button. You push that in. That releases the other part of the clip. And you just slide it right out of the tube. So this one just happens to be a red one. Same thing. Then there's a little button in the back that you unclip. All right, to get to this point here, we took the engine cover off, we removed the battery cover, and what I did was I covered up the positive side of the terminal because if one of your tools touches that to ground, you're going to get a big shock or you might short something out. There's two 20-millimeter um, Torx bolts. It moves the uh, brake reservoir off out of the way. And then the flexible hose over here has a screwdriver clamp, one on the bottom, one on the top. Right, which is that piece right there. You take that out of the way and it'll give you room to go up and under. All right, so let's go and look at the one that's up and under first. Okay, this purse solenoid is right here. It's attached to a bracket and that's the bracket right there. If you see it, that bracket comes with a new one, goes on with two bolts, one in the far back and one in the front. So depending on how you choose to do it, you can either take it off the bracket or you could just slide it off the uh, the rubber piece. What I did here was I just took it off the rubber piece. There's also a connector over here that you disconnect. You squeeze that little tab and you pull it up. That disconnects that solenoid. In the back, the hose attaches to the one all the way back yonder. Let's see if I can show it for you. See it? Right there. I took it off the pipe already. All right? Same thing. has a little green clip. Squeeze the white tab and it pops right out. And then that's where the hose is. All right, over here, there's a little Christmas tree clip which holds this harness, I guess for the for the air temperature sensor. They pop that out. What else did I remove? I removed this little hose here in order for me to gain access so I don't break it. You're better off removing things before you break it. All right. Otherwise, then what else is that? There's a little clip over here that holds this hose to the intake. Just push down on it, that snaps off. There's a little clip over here that holds this part of the hose. That snaps right off. This one here, I explained to you. Remove the green clips, that pops off. Same thing with the red clip, and that pops off of this part, okay? 
Now the hard part is the one on the bottom. On the intake towards the radiator, there's one here which comes on an angle. Same thing, got the green clip, which is what I removed them from over there. But the problem here is, is the white button that you have to push is in the back. You see it? So you have to be a little bit of a contortionist to go and bend it this way, like that. And I just dropped a little screwdriver. But you can get it, but what I did was, see the bottom one? There's one on the bottom. That one right there, okay? That one, what I did was I disconnected that one first, pushed a little button, and I was able to tilt this, pull this whole assembly up a little bit on an angle, and I was able to get the white button to be either top or bottom, I forgot which way it was, but you could turn it. So instead of being at the nine o'clock position, I brought it up to almost the 11, or I brought it down to the eight, I don't remember. But either way, you push it, got a little screwdriver, and I pushed it out, and the whole assembly is gonna come out as one piece, all right? So let's see. Let's take this out, Joe. All right, take this out, it's one piece. I'm gonna wiggle it out. There's one, there's two. This one out of here. plastic a little bit of a warm weather today cold weather it's gonna be probably a pain in the butt so that's what it looks like let's put it down here let's match it up that's the old one this is the new one different, different style different turn but you get the basic idea and that's it all right, like I said, I'm going to show you the clip right here. You know what I told you about this clip? All right, turn it this way. Just got to grab these two tangs, one on each side, pull it over. You can take the clip out. You don't really need it because the original replacement one does not have that, unless you buy a, a, a Ford one. And then this is that button that you push. And if you notice, I'm going to show you how that works. You see the clips? When you push the button, it spreads it. So once it spreads it, you're able to pop it right out. So that's how that works. All right, so now we're gonna finagle it back in, put it on all the clips, and then we'll continue from there. All right, thank you, Joey. All right, then we're gonna fish it right back in, nice and easy, without breaking anything. And we'll put all the connectors back in. All right, and then we'll finish. All right, so now we're up to the installation. We're going to try to get the one in the back. All right, we're going to connect that one in the back. Okay, that's where we're going to go. We're going to snap that in and listen to the click. Let's go a little closer. All right, I'm going to stick my arm up and under, and you're going to hear it snap in. I won't see it now, but you could probably hear it. Let's see, I'm going to go, I'm going to go under here. And grab it. Sometimes some of this stuff you got to do blind. All right, you ready? Hear it. Listen carefully. Let's see if you can snap it in. Okay, heard that click. That means that's in. Now we're gonna go to the solenoid. Okay, now I decided not to take the bracket off with the two bolts, because that looks like it might be a pain in the butt. So I just slid the little rubber piece off and left the bracket mounted. So if you look carefully here, over here, Joe, I am gonna just slide it. See the slot? I'm just gonna slide it in and it's gonna lock into place. There you go, okay? Now that's locked into place, I'm gonna take the little solenoid wire I am going to plug it in. Hang on. All 
I decided to plug it in last only because I don't want to play with the hose and then snap the wire. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this in here and I'm gonna continue. All right, you heard that snapping, so that's good. All right, so this is this, this is this. While I'm here, I'm gonna leave this off for now. Oh, I'm gonna put this clip back on. See this little clip, little clip here for a heater hose and it holds that other wire. I'm gonna put that on there. Follow along. I'm gonna leave this off until I put the, the air intake hose in. All right, follow along here. There's a clip over here, okay? I can either take this one off and put the new one on, or I just take this clip off. I'm gonna take this new clip off. Use the original one. All right, nothing beats original, they say. All right, let's go over here to this one. Let's go take the one in the back first. All right, All right back here, same thing. I'm just gonna push it in and it's gonna click in. All right, this one over here, I'm gonna take. Go and click this one in. A little harder to do because it's stiff. So I'm gonna drop the light here for a second. Ready? All right, you hear it click in. That means it's good. All right, go over here, go over here. Let's straighten some of this little loom up over here. Fix the loom over here, fix the loom over here. We're good, we're good. All right, now we're gonna go to the bottom. All right, remember there's two on the bottom. There's a one over here that goes that way, and then the one all the way down on the bottom. So let's go, let's do this one on top here first, people. Let's see. See if you come on this side, Joe. Point it in there and just see what. Behind. Okay, right there is where the little tab is. Okay, it's a little snout there. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this hose. I'm gonna stick it in there. It's a little tight in there. Just listen to the click. All right, so we know that snapped on. There's one all the way down on the bottom. Okay, right there, a the little black tab right there. I don't know if you could see it. Okay, yeah, that's it right there. That's the one we're gonna snap in. So that one's gonna be a little rough to get to. Let's see if I can slide this over here. This one we're gonna snap. Two hands, probably one on each side. Let's try to do it this way. Line it up with the right hand. But the problem is gonna snap it in with the left hand. All right, see him come on this side, Joe. Like a little rock. All right, so you can see my finger. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the way it is. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna snap it in. There you go. That's a snap there. That's a snap there. This one here. It's gonna snap onto this little plastic piece here on the manifold. It should be underneath. Right there. All right, so. Oh, by the way, see this little sensor on the intake? I removed it because I didn't want to break the wire as I'm playing in this area. So, same thing, just slide the locking tab to the left, squeeze this, and the sensor plug will come right out. So, to put it back and then lock it back in, we're good there. All right, so let's see. Go back, try to remember everything that we removed. I think we are good to go here. This Christmas tree was to clip onto this piece here. This holds this sensor wire. But since the Christmas tree broke in there, I have to try to get that piece out. So that's minor, we're gonna do that last. Not worried about that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this intake hose back on and then put this hose back on and then we will be good to go. All right, so we're gonna do that and then put the cover on. 
Did you notice that I covered the uh, positive cable with a rag? Because nobody needs to get zapped, right? Okay, let's continue. All right, it's all put back together. The pain in the butt thing was this one here. I wanted to do the right thing and pull the broken Christmas tree out of there. So it's pried it out with a little screwdriver. Took a while, but that's all done. All right, that's in there. That's all tightened up. This is the extra hose that came around. Clipped that in. Put the brake reservoir back in. Everything is pretty much clipped on, snapped on. That is snapped on there. It's got the wire tied. This held on to the intake. We're all good. So now we're just going to put the engine cover back on. One, two, three, four. The one is back there. And we'll snap it on and we're going to clear the code. And then we're good to go. All right. Thanks for watching. Ciao. All right, here's, here's that perch solenoid. Okay, that whole contraption. I cut it off because when they tell you that the perch flow is high, it's because it's leaking. Okay, this solenoid is usually normally closed. So it's like a door, it should be closed. You should not be able to push air in or out. Okay, to check to see if it's no good, just to verify it. First of all, these are plastic lines, so they're a pain in the butt to check it. So either way, you just have to change it. But I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to blow through one side. There should be no air whatsoever. This door should be closed. Watch, I do one side, and then I'll flip it to the other side. So I can do it this way. You hear it? It's leaking. I'm going to flip it this side now. Okay, so yeah, it's leaking. It should, it should be totally closed. That's what it is. All right? So that's why we changed the whole thing. Okay, it's hot plastic. They were a pain in the butt to cut. But it is what it is. You got to change them. All right. I think Ford sells it separately, but I don't know how they sell it separately if these plastic lines are like melted on. But all right, that's it. All done. Thanks for watching, people. Ciao.